the internet has connected us so beautifully it just has this ugly underside that people can use it as a powerful, powerful tool to hurt each other. I didn't grow up with cyberbullying, but I'm a celebrity and man, people post a lot of nasty stuff about me. <laughs> and I'm an adult woman and I have a thick skin. As much as you delete it, nothing really goes away because someone else can reblog it, repost it, like it, double tap it on Instagram. And the only thing that stops it, and this is not Tony Robbins talking, it's what all the research shows, is people online immediately going out and saying this is wrong and not attacking the other person, but saying this is absurd, this isn't fair. Type and say, hey, that's not cool, this needs to stop. Be quiet. You don't know my friend. You don't know her. Don't worry about they're just hating on, just block them or erase it. Just even taking someone who's being a, a, a target and just going, oh, having fun with at so-and-so or whatever. Going on my Twitter and reaching out to people if they're having a hard time or showing my support. You know, the same way that, you know, social network can, can spread very negative things, it can also spread very positive things really quickly. It's a hard thing for our culture to realize because we think it's soft to say nice things. It's not soft to say nice things. It actually takes a lot of courage. Let's get on the phones and let's just use it to be positive and empower and to protect each other. Whether it's like, I thought something, something, anything happy, anything positive, um, any little defense of that person so that they know that they're not alone and that someone else cares. I think you can save someone's life if you do that.